This is another pixel art tutorial and I'm going over dithering and anti-alias. So I'm just going to give a very simple example on what dithering is. If you grasp the concept of gradients in say Adobe Photoshop, then dithering is basically the same thing only you are using individual pixels to create a gradient like effect. So here I'm meticulously putting individual pixels in a checkered pattern. With dithering feel free to experiment on how you want to shape out certain forms if you want to give it some gradient like effect. So what I'm doing here is pretty basic. Most of the time I see pixel artwork combining two colors, but I've seen some that use three or four color palettes at a time. So see here, I am showing you an example of how you can be very experimental with creating a gradient effect using dithering. It doesn't have to be a checkered pattern. It all depends on what effect you are going for. So you can have random pixels, well random but controlled pixels to give certain gradient effect on a particular surface. So in this example, I am showing you how you can smooth things out by manually adding in anti-aliasing. So you want to avoid these jagged lines. And to do that, you need to smooth out by picking a lighter tone than what I have now. So I use black to create the curved line and to smooth it out, I just use different shades of gray. So right now you see these pixels, but when I zoom out, it looks pretty smooth. So here it applies the same for the line. And here I'm just getting rid of the jagged areas of the circle. And to smooth out the curves, I choose different shades of gray to create the anti-aliasing effect.
So one thing to note, I see some people do pillow shading, and while I'm not stopping anyone from using that technique, I advise not to do that because with pillow shading, it makes the image really blurry and flat. So here, if I say I want to make a sphere, I pick a determined light source and I smooth out some jagged lines and add dithering to the surface to give that gradient effect. and it helps to add in the bounce light and the shadow. So the bounce light is an example of anti-alias. I can show that the light actually bounces on this sphere. Again, I'm adding a little bit more dithering on the highlights. And there you have it. With dithering and anti-aliasing, you can have a very smooth and crisp image just from working with pixels. If you like this video, please stick around for more pixel art tutorials.